Hi, I'm Twitch streamer Kona Cat, and this is Pollen. It's a two to four player tile lane game for ages 11 and up. Um, I think this game is really, really beautiful, really well made, not complicated at all, not a lot of complexity to the gameplay, to the setup, uh, for anything. I think if you have a group of people, one, that love a theme that is garden inspired, nature inspired, uh, this is a game for you. I think if you like a game that is short, sweet, uh, fun to play, pretty to play, uh, this is also the game for you. You are literally taking uh, your tiles, placing them out, planting plants, attracting uh, <laughs> butterflies and June bugs, I'll pull this out, June bugs <laughs> and bees. Um, it's so well made. It's a sweet, endearing game, I think. Um, and you can upgrade some of the parts uh, to the game that I think are also worth it. I will put a link uh, into the description if you want to. Um, I show it a little more detail of the, the upgraded pieces. And again, I think totally worth it because it makes the game even a little more uh, beautiful to play. So let's get into a little more detail on how to quickly set it up, show you a little quick intro, how to play it, go through some of the rules and see if you can have some fun with it like I did. This is everything that comes in the box. We have 60 garden cards here, 15 for each player. You can play two to four players. There are 44 of these tokens, uh, pollinator tokens. Um, the standard comes with these cardboard punch outs. Um, they go in this bag, but there are some upgrades that you can buy. Uh, these acrylic ones, which are very nice um, to play with. Um, and I'm just showing you here. So you see everything that's possible. Um, and then, we have our scoring meeples, uh, 16 bees, 16 June bugs. We now know that these are June bugs <laughs> after our unboxing and then 16 butterflies. And let's go ahead and show you a quick setup and a quick play. Setup for pollen is super quick and easy. I'm setting up for a two player game. I have one orange player, one purple player. Each player is going to shuffle their tile deck and draw five into their hand. Like so, they're gonna keep their hand hidden from other players. We'll go ahead and get purple set up here, shuffled and drawn. And theirs are also hidden. Um, I also have all the scoring meeples here. With a two player game, you're only gonna use 10 of each of the June bugs, butterflies, and bees. We have all the pollinator tokens. They are all gonna go into this bag. We're gonna shake everything up. We're gonna draw one out of here. And then we have our next up token and we are ready to play. Our three actions that every player takes on their turn, you are going to start by planting, by placing one of your tile cards out here. You're going to pollinate, which is score when scoring allows you to, and attract, which is putting one of your pollinator tokens back out here. And that is all there is for actions. So let's go into detail about what those actions mean. Let's get into a little more detail on how to play the game. We are going to choose our first player by the person who most recently watered a plant. We're gonna say that's orange. And your first action on your turn um, is to plant and you're gonna be playing one of these tile cards out here in the game area. Um, if you notice on each of the cards, there are these icons. Um, we have butterflies, we have stars, which count as wild, uh, June bugs and bees. And you're gonna want to play these to match the tokens that are out here so that you can win that scoring meeple. Um, and you're gonna be competing with the other players. So purple and orange are gonna be competing for this butterfly token and you wanna have the most butterflies surrounding it. So to start, orange is gonna go ahead and do this butterfly one here. And then the next action is pollinate. Pollinate would mean we would get to score, but because there isn't uh, four tiles completely surrounding the token. We're not going to be able to score for this turn. And then the next action is to attract, which means you're going to play the next up token out here when there are uh, two uh, tile cards placed next to each other in open space. And I will show that in a little bit. And then the end of your turn, you're going to draw another card into your hand. So let's go ahead and get purple's turn going. Purple is also going to go for the butterfly because they have three here, so purple is going to play that there. We still cannot score yet, 
Um, but we can place the next up tile here, or next up token here. Um, so we're gonna place that, doesn't matter which side you play it on. With these split tiles, you'll see that there's a bee and a butterfly. You're gonna be scoring for both of these. So if someone has the most butterflies, they'll get a scoring token, scoring meeple. Um, and if somebody has a bee, the most bees surrounding it, they will get a scoring meeple for the bees. Um, so we're gonna place that there. Um, and then we, Grab another next up token here. And we have the June bug. And then purple's gonna draw another card into their hand here. And then let's play a little through so we can get some scoring and see some other things that can happen here. Um, orange is gonna play, they're going hard for the butterfly. We're gonna stick that there. Uh, still cannot score, but now there's another open space here so we can attract. We're gonna put the June bug there and then Draw another next up here. And this one is a June bug and a bee. And then orange is gonna draw another card into their hand here. And then purple's turn. Let's see, is purple gonna go for the butterflies? It looks like if they do, uh, the, there will be a tie. If there's a tie, um, nobody scores. So let's go ahead and show that. So they're gonna play the stars as um, a wild. And so they're gonna play the stars that counts as two butterflies. So to score for this, you'll see that there's three and two butterflies. Uh, orange has three and two butterflies. <laughs> so nobody, if there's a tie, nobody wins the meeple. This flips over. Um, and uh, so that was kind of <laughs> not the most favorite start, but that's okay. We still got moves to make. And then we still do the attract. Um, we're gonna put this next up um, here. Uh, the player whose turn it is can choose where they go. And because there's another open space, we're going to take another one and put it there. And then we have another next up token here because there's no more open spaces to place them. Purple puts another one in their hand here. And then let's play through a little bit so we can at least get something, some scoring going. Uh, let's see, Orange has got a lot of wilds here. Um, we got some June bugs. Maybe Orange is gonna throw down on the June bugs here. Um, and uh, still can't score, uh, but we can place the next up token here. We're gonna drop another next up token. And Orange is gonna draw one more into their hand. We got lots of wilds going on in their hand. <laughs> I may not have shuffled great. Um, let's see, uh, purple, purple has, look at, uh, purple's got some a four June bug set. They're gonna place that here so they can try to score. We're gonna place that one there. When they score, if you see, purple has four June bugs. Orange has two June bugs. The butterflies don't count because there's not a butterfly in the middle. Purple wins the scoring meeple. They are gonna take the June bug meeple here. And that is now theirs. And we are going to then do the attract action. Oh, we gotta flip this over. We're gonna do the attract action. We get to place this in either spot we want. I think purple's gonna place this one here to compete for that. And then we're gonna drop another one. And this one goes in the other empty spot. And then we got our next up token here. And that's kind of the playthrough of it. Trigger the end game. One of the categories of scoring meeples must be completely depleted. So either there are no more blue butterflies, there are no more June bugs, or there are no more bees. Just one category of these need to be completely used and that triggers the end game. Um, the other thing that triggers the end game, if, if there's no more cards in anybody's hands, all players, all players that will uh, trigger the end game. And the other condition is if the last pollinator token is placed, that ends the game. I'm gonna use this as an example for our end game scoring. We're gonna have orange have accumulated these blue butterflies and these bees. We're gonna have purple accumulate these June bugs and these blue butterflies. And we're gonna determine who is the leader in each type of scoring meeple. So orange is definitely the leader of the blue butterflies. They have definitely more than the purple, so purple is not the leader in that. Um, they're also the leader in the bees and purple is the leader in the June bugs. The winner is the person who is then the leader of two or three of the scoring meeples. So orange is technically the winner 
of this game. If there is a tie, the player with the most total scoring meeples wins. And if there is a, still a tie from there, then the players share the victory. In the rare case that no players lead any meeple type, the player with the most total meeples will win. And that is how to set up and play Pollen. If you like a short, sweet, lovely little game to play, this is definitely the game for you. It's visually beautiful to play. On top of it, I give it two thumbs up. I'm going to be playing it with all my friends, and I hope you get to play it too. And I will see you next time for the next game.